WECT's Caitlin Stansel live from the battleship where the ceremony is getting ready to start. Caitlin. Ashley, in about 15 minutes here, they're going to kick off. We're live aboard the North Carolina battleship. You can see behind me hundreds of people out here dressed in their red, white, and blue for the 50th anniversary of it being held right here aboard the battleship in downtown Wilmington, uh, honoring those who have died for our freedom. Now, there are a number of speakers that are going to be here. They're just now bringing in the honored guests to sit up front. But the, Senator Richard Burr is here. We're also going to have uh, Major General Greg Lust. They're going to be giving some remarks. And then a little bit later on, they will be having that uh, presentation of the memorial wreath. And then the 21 gun salute will wrap it up here. For now, though, they're playing some music, getting ready to start up another song. And you see they're leading in the special guests here to that front row. So we're just getting ready to kick off here, but make sure you check out, check back in with us at six o'clock. We're going to have another live hit then. Back to you, Ashley. All right. Thanks, Caitlin. With hands. We are live aboard the USS North Carolina for their 50th annual Memorial Day observance. We'll tell you coming up how they are honoring those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. And it sure looks nice out there. We're Tonight, many have gathered for Memorial Day right here at the battleship near downtown Wilmington. And that's where we find out Caitlin Stansel with more on a night that many families will never, ever forget. Caitlin? Well, Fran, this all kicked off just after 545. Major General Greg Lusk is up there right now. I'm going to step out of the way to you and take a look. There are hundreds of people here aboard the USS North Carolina, and what a great place to have this 50th annual Memorial Day observance. So we're honoring those who have died for our freedom. And again, the 50th anniversary that's being held right here aboard the USS North Carolina. Truly a testament and reminder of those who have served our country in times of conflict and times of peace, and those who have given their lives so we can be out here on this gorgeous, day in downtown Wilmington. A number of people here again, uh, Major General Greg Lust speaking right now, the Adjutant General of North Carolina. And soon after that, they'll be having that memorial wreath ceremony and then a 21 gun salute to wrap it all up. Uh, we're having to be very quiet here because they are speaking at this moment, but a number of people here, the Mayor Bill Sappho of Wilmington, as well as New Hanover County Commissioners. And again, we are just all out here, not only remembering the 10,000 people, the 10,000 North Carolina, Carolinians who died during World War II, but all of those who have given the ultimate sacrifice uh, for their country. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio, Fran, but we're going to have more coming up tonight on WECT News at 11. Back to you. Many people gathered today to remember those who gave their lives for our country. Aboard the USS North Carolina, hundreds came out to honor the fallen. Our Caitlin Stansel was there, and Caitlin, you talked to veterans and Senator Richard Burr, who was one of the speakers at this event. Well, actually standing on board a vessel that is a true reminder of the sacrifices our service members make every day. We talked to Senator Burr about our role as a country in helping our veterans transition back into society after war and get the care they need to lead successful lives once they're out of service. The average American should be embarrassed at uh, how pitiful the Veterans Administration is, at uh, the, the hoops they make our veterans uh, jump through, the difficulty that veterans have at getting the services that they so richly deserve. The fact is that I think most Americans, though, uh, and we've seen this over the past 14 years with the current conflicts, see a, 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 a person in uniform and go out of their way to thank them. He says there's still much to be done, and we've seen some efforts here in our area with the Veterans Amnesty Day at the courthouse a few weeks ago, and even in Raleigh, the governor right now working on creating a Department of Military and Veteran Affairs on the cabinet level. In the studio tonight, Caitlin Stansel, Fox Wilmington News. Lawmakers are at odds over whether to reauthorize the Patriot Act in the U.S. Senate. That's the law that allows the NSA to collect phone records. WUCT's Caitlin Stansel spoke to Senator Richard Burr tonight about his stance on the topic. Caitlin? Well, Fran, the Patriot Act expires June 1st. Many Americans saying it violates their privacy, a court even ruling it illegal. And while the House wants to leave those records with phone companies and restrict how the government can search them, some in the Senate want to renew the Patriot Act as it is. North Carolina Senator Richard Burr is one of those saying it doesn't violate anyone's privacy, but is just another measure to keep Americans safe, much like the TSA security checkpoints in airports. We're willing to accept some degree of inconvenience and yeah, some degree of our personal space being inv invaded if in fact we know what it goes for. 
We've done a poor job of explaining why our intelligence community needs that information to keep us safe. We're going to do a better job in the future. There are a number of options in the air right now. Lawmakers can either renew it, replace it with the Freedom Act, extend it short term, or simply let it expire. In the studio tonight, Caitlin Stansel, WECT News. Now we also talked to Senator Byrd tonight about his role in the 50th annual memorial observance aboard the USS North Carolina. Here's what he had to say about that. It's, it's the individuals whose hands built this vessel. It's those who served on it. It's those um, who really committed to the acts of World War II that are the reason that we're here today. Uh, the fact that we can come here and assemble, that we can talk about America's history. We also had a chance to talk to others about what Memorial Day means to them. I have several people, you know, in my past that uh, were submariners and, and fought and died for their country just so that I could uh, come up and grow up and do the same thing for my family. A Memorial Day for me means freedom. This is why we're Americans. It's a remembrance of all the real winners and people that I acknowledge because the real heroes aren't here today. It's such a great honor and privilege uh, to be an American, and I hope uh, folks have taken time today to reflect on those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Well, I'm sorry they had to go, but they know they're glad, they're glad to have given their lives to know that we have freedom. Now hundreds turned out for that event, as you could see from the video.